Ladies and gentlemen. Hello. I'm back. Me too. I had a wonderful time in Europe. But, as you see, my studio is not. Why is that? It's flooded. This is my house. We are actually on set at Wayne and Winch's house. Beautiful house. This is half of his living room. Pretty much the whole living room. <laughs> Pretty much all you're missing is a television. And it's got a sports center going, so that's all that matters. Exactly, so, you know. But anyway, let's get going with college football preview. Big game in, what, five days? I know, and I can't wait five days until Michigan and Alabama. Will it be Bama? Go Woo. Wait a second, wait a second. I know. This was not planned, by the way. It's upside down. Hoo -ah. Thought it work. There. Wrong side. Well, that's the right side. Okay, that's the wrong side. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> there we go. There. Michigan! Blue's gonna beat Bama. Go Blue. Hail to the victors. Yay. Hail to the victors! This blue is better, and you know it. I like the Crimson Tide, though. It was certain extent whether or not playing Michigan. Between the Crimson Tide and the War Eagle, I'd, I'd roll Tide. That's for sure, but... The War Eagle. Auburn. I like Auburn. I'm not the biggest fan of Auburn myself. Go Hawaii. There. Out uh, of the ordinary. We're going to go Hawaii. They play USC like this weekend, too, by the way. I liked Hawaii, especially when June Jones coached there when they when they had their undefeated season four years ago, was it? And they still made it to a crappy ball game. I know, which was total BS. And they gotta go by strength of schedule. Still, if you're undefeated and you're the only undefeated team in college football, which Hawaii was that year, yep. you belong in the national championship game. Now, obviously, they didn't play like that against what was it, Georgia, mm. or Ohio, or or th or that team down south. I don't think it was that team down south. It was with Georgia. But they they played terrible against that team. But still, undefeated, belong in the championship game. Anyway, blast from the past. Let's go back to the bam. Let's go back to 2012 instead of 2008. Should so, we share my good news? Sure. What's that? I got an iPhone. Landon is part of the iPhone family. I got rid of the droid, got the iPhone. There's stuff on it. He's got a 4, I got a 4S. So I got Siri. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing on that one, so. Exactly. But it's better than a droid. That is true. It's, it's especially better than um, <laughs> getting poked on Facebook during the show. <laughs> Cody. <Are you>? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I must um, share some good news with the with Tom TV 23 Nation. Um, I was just contacted by Brandon Deacons and the Great Lakes Sports Network, and. Um, as they follow me on Twitter, and now the Great League Sports Network has tuned in to Tom TV 23. So mm. uh, my career could get started. Sorry, I gotta look at the key for a second. Calvin Johnson's on it. Yes, we gotta. Oh, they got rid of it. They got rid of Megatron. Look over right there, Megatron. See that? That, my friends, is, number one draft pick is number my number one draft pick. And you know who that is? That's, that's Prince Fielder. That is not Prince Fielder. It is... Megatron! 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 <laughs> I couldn't resist but do that, you know. Is that still showing us? Uh, we'll check. <laughs> They're going to do an E60 on Calvin. Uh, did not show me. That's not good. There we go. Yeah, of course you want to see Tom TV 23 when you're watching his vids. Anyway, 
We went way off topic. What's back to college football? Back to college football. So, I know it's not even the first game has been played yet, but who is your um, national championship game and champion? Oh, Go. I can't decide right now. What about you, though? Well, I definitely think, and unbiasedly, if Michigan beats Michigan State, even if they drop against Bama, I think they do have a legit shot to go to the championship game. Not too sure about winning it, but I think they do have a legit shot this season. You what I can see? I can see Bama being Michigan, unfortunately. Michigan winning out and then playing Bama in the national championship game. That would be awesome. It's called Paybacks of Fiznatch. I can't swear on Tom TV 23. <laughs> He's sworn before on Tom TV 23. Okay, Paybacks of Bitch, okay? <laughs> no, because Bromberg said Bitch last video. <laughs> oh, you guys just said a lot worse, but. Oh, yeah, I, I went to town one day. <laughs> I think it was on the um, the third variety show, but anyway. Um, yeah. My other team, I'm going to. Um, well, I am going to say. Um, it's also tough for me, but I'm going to go Michigan Oregon. That'd be a good matchup. Championship. Now that that depending on how the Michigan does against Bama, against Michigan State. And their conference schedule. Obviously, if they lose a non-conference game, they're screwed. They're they're not screwed. They're even worse. Yeah, they're fucked. <laughs> yeah, yes, you heard that on Tom TV Twenty Three. But guess what? Huh? We're gonna beat that team down south, no matter what. Exactly. Urban Meyer, this is your first year at 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 that team down south. Yeah. Well, guess what? Guess what, Urban Meyer? This team is better. This team. Let's see how he does, though. He's not a bad coach. I mean, I must admit, I he's do, just I a do shooting, like roster. Yeah, I do like the fact that he lets his team take an afternoon mean, nap after. All together, all snugged up on air mattresses. <laughs> Got to admit that that would be a good part of practice, right there. That's what they call a being a softy in that team down south. <laughs> Exactly. Michigan doesn't. Michigan doesn't raise softies. That's right. We, we're, we're like the hard knocks. We're like the dolphins and the jets. We're the we're the hard knocks. We handle all elements. In fact, thoughts. our training camp deserves to be on HBO. Hard knocks. <laughs> hard knocks. Michigan football. That was on last night. Hard knocks. Unfortunately, I don't have HBO. Aww. So I can't watch <laughs> Hard Knocks. Watch, but have the Hard Knocks be terrible, a terrible show to watch. And I said, oh, Michigan football should be on it. Watch me get slammed in the press. Oh, we're getting off college football. Because I just saw this. Maurice Jones Drew still on holdout. Hey, T. Jakes. Yeah, Tyler, this is why you don't pick Maurice Jones Drew uh, as a holdout. Maurice Jones Drew, he's being held out. Yeah, I obviously can't really see it right there, but... But didn't he pick Mike Wallace, too? He may have. I think he did. And Mike Wallace is actually reporting to Steelers camp today. It is on the bottom line, ESPN. Mike Wallace is at Steelers camp. Yeah. That's why you don't draft a guy and hold out, because he might not even be doing anything this year. Exactly. So, anyway. That's okay. Who'd you get number one pick, Tom? Don't even say it. I want to slap you. Megatron! <laughs> Who'd Lane get? Marshawn Lynch. He's going with his family right there, the Winches. But anyway. You gotta figure. Anyway. They're giving Seattle's getting they're putting they're starting a rookie quarterback week one. Russell Wilson has now been named their official starter for week one. What's he gonna do? We'll find out. Wolf You'll have my opinions and stuff on on the next episode. But anyway, recap Mich recap on college football predictions. National championship game, blue Bama, blue Oregon. It's still blue, no matter what. That's right. Go blue. I'm wearing green, no, though. So I'm wearing green, though. 
and white. Hail to the victors. That's right. These guys, all the way. Hail to the victors. We'll see you next time.